You okay there? Jesus. I think I hurt someone. This is Ed Warren, here with Lorraine. All right, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Sauls. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever is going on, whatever happened that day, that was not Arnie. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. And that connection's still broken. I'm only interested in reality. But I can see things that your people can't. Something terrible happened here. A master Satanist is not an adversary to be taken lightly. She's doing it again. She's reaching out to the darkness. Lorraine, you need to come back. Is saving him worth everything you have? Because that's what it may very well cost. We know there are other stories to tell, but we've never felt the pressure to push them out there until we feel like there is a great story to tell and that we have something that, again, will be a worthy entrance to the Conjuring universe. I'd like you all to sit quietly and close your eyes. I really wanted Conjuring 3 to get away from the haunted house setup of the first two Conjuring films. It should be more on a whole different level, something that we've never explored before in the Conjuring world. We wanted to keep our new story grounded in the feel of Conjuring movies, but we wanted to make sure we were telling a brand new story. And we think the Arnie Johnson story was something that really deserved a much closer look. As I got to the bottom of the stairs and I went to open the door, I don't remember anything from that point. The next thing I know, I was in a jail cell. And I said, what's going on here? And they say, well, you're being charged for murder. I said, well, what are you talking about? The trial of Arnie Cheyenne Johnson. This was an internationally renowned case, which was the first time in the history of law in the United States that yeah. That demonic possession was used as a reason for committing manslaughter. Do you think you'll be able to prove the existence of the devil in court? The truth doesn't require anyone to believe in it. You're in for a much different ride than you've been on in other Conjuring films. What's the point of a sequel if you can't outshine and outstory <laughs> and outheart the previous films? It just requires you to bring your A plus game. When I was working with Michael Shavs on La Llorona, I saw a filmmaker that really gets these kind of films. It's bittersweet for me to pass the baton on. And action! But it's good to get a fresh take on where we can take the Conjuring universe. We're offering something very special with these films, and I think that's one of the reasons people keep coming back. The final reason, of course, is that people love to be scared. I don't know that anybody has crafted or created better scare sequences than James Wan, David Sandberg, Gary Doberman, Corn Hardy, John Leonetti, Michael Shavs. Guys, we're making Conjuring 3. It's going to be awesome. These are all people that really know what they're doing, and they do an incredible job crafting new and original scare sequences. That's really what people come back to see.